Uh, Mel says, hey, guys. What's up, Mel, by the way? She's been act really active the last several weeks, so we appreciate that, Mel. She says, hey, guys, I know you don't really use PBNs anymore, but I figured you might know my situation. I accidentally logged into one of my PBNs from my normal IP. Now, I didn't link to my client's website, but usually I go in with hide my ass and a different state, etc. Do you think the PBN was marked by Google as in it is risky for me to still keep it? No, Mel, okay, there, there's probably going to be differing opinions on this, Mel. I wouldn't sweat it. Um, honestly, I really wouldn't sweat it at all. Uh, if you were logging into like dozens of PBN sites from the same IP all the time, um, then, then that would create an issue. But, uh, since you've been, it sounds like it's, you've been incredibly careful up until this point, you made one mistake. I would not sweat it. I would just carry on as normal. Just log in from other IPs going forward. That's it. Simple as that. What do you guys think? I, I have a couple of things on, on this one. Hide my ass is like, like the worst thing that you could use as, as a VPN. That's like a flag. <laughs> Their IPs are so friggin' dirty, man. Yeah. It's incredible. So so that's so you know the, the problem is in the first part. The, the problem is really using hide my ass as a VPN. So that that uh, uh oh I think we lost Marco. You guys hearing me? Can you yeah, hear me? I can hear you. Okay, we lost Marco for a minute. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. The second part of this is PBNs, and I'm going to post a link again to my blog post from 2015 where PBNs have to be built a different way now. You can't go by the old standard. So, I mean, th th that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to address all that. Like, as far as, uh, you know, if, if you are still using PBNs, and a lot of people still do. I mean, there, there is still some value there. Um, but as Marco said, I, that you just don't build them like you did in 2012, right? Because uh, that, that way you'll those those end up becoming toxic. They create more of a problem than a benefit. So uh, just make sure you know. Again, Mel, personally, I've got you know I still have several sites. A lot of them I just use for video stuff now. But um, I really don't sweat it because my my network is so small it doesn't really matter to me anymore. Um, and because I use it more for videos, but you know for website stuff, yeah. Just if, as long as you've been careful. I agree with Marco though. Hide my ass is about the worst. Uh, thing that you can do because so many other spammers use it and so you're better off like getting um, your own set of proxies Mel that can be either rotated out every 30 days or you can get permanent proxies like easy proxies if you go to semanticmastery.com slash easy proxies that's e letter e letter z proxies those are uh, you can request permanent proxy proxies um, from them and they're rather inexpensive and you can use those so that you can literally marry specific uh, uh, you know, assign specific IPs to cer certain PBN sites and just always log in with the same IP because that looks natural, right? Because typically a website owner or webmaster is going to be logging in from the same IP anyway. So you can get like, you know, 10 IPs and just kind of have three or four different sites all logging in from one specific IP and just assign those to them to where it's always the same, if that makes sense. Something like that. I'm just giving you some ideas where you can have much cleaner proxies or IPs than trying to use like hide my ass. Okay, when you get dedicated proxies, they're yours and nobody else is using them, or at least they're not supposed to be. So uh, you can guarantee that those that's a clean IP, right? So, but again, that's part of the reason why I don't like using PBNs that much anymore because of all the different stuff now. It's like you gotta it's it's you gotta follow so many rules now <laughs> to not leave a footprint. It's just crazy. 